Hello, and welcome to a game I played today. It's been a while since I played a game, but that's only because I had a kid, so, you know. I, uh, I guess I'll have less time to do this, and, uh, between these, uh, play todays and the, um, Isaac Daily runs, I don't really have that much time, um, because the, the baby just takes a lot of time. So anyways, well, um, um, I'll, I'll try to push out one of these every now and then. But they're just going to be more rare, I guess. Um, yeah, um, so uh, Starship Traveler. I've seen this uh, for a while, I've eyed it, and then I got it in a bundle, so now I'm, uh, I'm playing it. Um, let's uh, take a look. It's a fighting fantasy game book, an interactive adventure in which you are the hero. In the adventure which, fo which uh, follows, you are the captain of a starship lost in an unknown universe. Your skills are as a captain will determine whether you and your crew will ever see Earth again. Oh, crap. Did I just enter a visual novel? I really hope not. You're about to be flung through the block black hole into an unknown space. Your only chance of return will be to find another suitable black hole and guide your ship through it back to your own universe. You must first choose your difficulty setting. This game book, that's a bad sign, has been designed for optimum challenge and each classic difficulty. For newcomers to fighting fantasy, we recommend experiencing the game in free, re free read mode. Play Starship Traveler as Steve Jackson designed it. Classic difficulty is a fate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just go for free read. Having served as a dedicated officer of the and for many years, your experience and skills have been rewarded with your promotion to captain. Enter your first name on your registration console. Uh, I don't know. Captain, uh, who? Oh, oh, you know what? I can't enter it. White. Holy gun. Um, this looks like, I mean, kind of mobile. Then you are prompted to select your gender. I don't want to... I'll be a female today. The registration console could restrict you finalize your new position with statistical scan. Using a... Alright. Calculating stamina. Uh, you rule 6 plus the base of 12, which means your stamina is 18. Oh, you're gonna like that. 9. And 10. You removed the, pal the palm from your console. What? Oh, okay. Head to the Admiral's quarters for briefing. You arrive at the Admiral's quarters. Uh, let's see. Uh, Take the Starship Traveler. Uh, yeah. Let's just go for the default. Calculating weapon strength. Nice. It's 11, and the shields are not so good. Uh. I'm just not going to read everything. Action, recommendation, just defaults. Um, yeah, okay, so you get the crew. With your brave crew, the ensign name is... Hey, Bob, you're in the game. Dismissed. Panic. Uh, to you. 10% velocity gain, you watching. It's not good. You are heading towards uh, some the Celsian void. What? Oh. The science officer has another plan. You swing the starship. Loud cheers. Wait, it's now showing minus 15, 25%? Mm, explosion. Including you lose consciousness. Uh, are we gaining consciousness? Your navigation officer is bewildered. You cannot identify. Okay, yeah, you've been flung into. Uh, so, what do we want to do? We want to set a course for the life bearing system ahead. Uh, life bearing system on the port side or on the board side? The starboard side. Oh. Uh, I. Well, forward is always good. You increase speed f towards a dull blue, uh, dull blue planet and start to orbit it. Short range scanners indicate that it's a life bearing planet. The most heavily populated area appears to be a city in the center of a large island. What are your orders? Beam down. Let's go. Oof. Uh, assemble your crew. Uh, science on for this. Can I just do like. Alright, whatever. Uh, I want. Add your signs. Yes. Medical officer. Yes. Let's just put everybody in there. Oh, I guess not. Beam down. And you materialize and it's completely deserted. Alright. Approach a large building behind you. Try one of the smaller buildings. Uh-oh. Uh, hold your weapons to show you mean no harm. 
A bulky. Okay, let's let's first see who we mean no harm. A bulky figure apparently asleep. Your uh, your entrance is disturbed. The creature and it raises its head, sees you, and it springs to its foot. Rather than legs, it has a single stump. Rather than its tree, let's just cause no harm. It settles down. Just surprised. Great. So it was the good action. Um, proved to be a pleasant place. It was not long before word spread of the galaxy in the promised land of freedom. Many settlers, the problem was no one was allowed to assume a position of responsibility. Everybody was entirely equal. The result is that after many years of settlement, the place is in utter chaos. Its inhabitants have not even decided on the name of the planet. Oh, you explain your predicament to the Timol, how you're lost, yada yada yada. You thank him for this information. Alright, head to the main building at the end. Or, uh, nope, just go there. Steps up. A inscription on the... There is actually a number. Like I mean, you're, you're. This is just pick your own adventure. Choose your own adventure, I should say. Um, which is I'm just gonna skim through. Uh, general tour. Thank you. Uh, we must fight. We manage. Oh, we managed to defeat all the guards. I have been defeated. What? No, oh, I guess we must fight. Oh, what? Just do. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is a fight. So I guess. I guess this is a fight. So let's do the fight. Can I pick something? Can I? Oh, okay. Is this Captain Sci-Fi? What does that even mean? Don't don't I want to be a top? Stamina and skill. Skill stamina. Oh, is it who I fight? Oh yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess so. Okay. So this should. Well, he has a higher skill. Hmm. Okay. So if I put him here. Then I have 18 stamina over 10 and 9 skill over 8. So that should be sufficient, right? And they are all using their fists. And uh, let's see. 20 over 9 and 7 over 7. I can do this. And I can. Hmm, interesting. So this one's going to. Probably going to fail because the stamina is not going to. Going to uh, compensate for it. But there is no way. I mean, I don't have 4 of them, so let's uh, fight. Uh, who are we gonna first guard square off against each other? Fight on. Is corner worth? Oh, I see. Okay, so your skill is just going to drop stamina, and the difference on the dice plus your base skill level, I guess. All right, that's kind of interesting. Uh, six versus seven, so I'm I'm higher, right? Yes. Yeah, so he took he took one. Stamina damage. Stamina is just your health, I guess. Because he has 20, he has 10. 7 against 7. And he took... I think he took 4 damage. A sudden attack. Oh, he's, they're, they're like... Oh, missed. Yeah, he takes 2 damage, he takes 2 damage. Alright, cool. Fight. I guess the quick damage is even better. Uh, the quick fight is better because... Two damage. Okay, so basically the loser just takes two damage. No more than two. Alright. Why well, do you miss? Alright, I just want to do quick combat, please. Oh, cool. Yeah, this this is much better. Uh, hit, hit, miss, miss. Alright. Uh, quick combat. Still takes too long. I basically lost this round. I, well, we broke even. He's uh, nearly dead here, though. I mean, I've got plenty of stamina. Uh, same, but he's uh, nearly dead for that dude. And then I guess I'll have one left. Ah, oh. okay, I failed here. All right, he's dead. I don't know what happens here, but I'm assuming that yes, he just dies. I, I can still rearrange everything. Oh, I see. So I can just do this now. No, it doesn't really matter. You... Oh, right, you're dead. You have no zero. So dead. Uh, that's quick combat. And then they just are supplemental attacks. And so they, he still takes two damage, even though these two missed. Because my captain, you know, dealt damage. Cool. Now he takes four damage because my supplementary. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And now he's dead. Great. Threat eliminated.
We've managed to defeat all the guards. Woohoo! All right. Request to enter the debating chamber. Ask to enter. Ask to enter the maps and travel room. Leave the building and return to the ship. I don't know what the. Oh, let's do this. Room. Thank you for the creature to help. Beam up. Back on the bridge. Uh, orbit the life-bearing planet. Set purple to f purple sun. Let's do that. Beam down, of course. Uh, let's do the. I don't know. Security officer. Wait. Add, yes. Why would you keep on hmm, second guessing me? First security officer, a guard, Hex. Second security officer, sure. No, I want a engineering. And I guess nothing else. Beam down. Ooh, we try all frequency broadcast. Uh, receive a message you add your crew. You materialize in the desert. As you decide what to do, the translator picks up a sound. Over here, quick. <gasps> you see a human size somewhat in such insect-shaped creature beckoning you into one of the small buildings. Follow the creature in. Ignore the creature and wait for the vehicle to approach. No, no we're just going to be cautious. You wait until the vehicle approaches. It stops in front of you and three strange-looking aliens dressed in armor uniforms spring out towards you. They are man-sized, but some are insect-like on spindly limbs. <sighs> out after cure few. This is illegal. You are strange and ugly. <laughs> what? Where do you come from? You try and relate your story. Explain your situation. Should have been more options there. Um, you explain your another plan. Therefore, know nothing about their curfew. It's illegal to be outside of curfew. Curfew. Uh, the penalty is extermination. Of course it is. Enter this vehicle. Obey the aliens and enter the vehicle. That would probably mean they'll lose everything. Draw your faces and fire. Pretend to comply and take them by surprise. That seems the most likely. You walk up to the entrance, of, uh, the entrance door as if to climb into the vehicle. As you pass the aliens, you signal the others and the three of you spring on them. This proves to be a rather fruitless exercise as the three creatures are immensely strong. They fling you into the ground and as you fall, you manage to grab the helmet of one of the aliens. It stops dead in its tracks in a very artificial pose, as if some switch has suddenly turned it off. The leader grabs the helmet and re replaces it on its colleague, who instantly springs back to life. You realize you will be no match for, this, for the creatures, but you've learned an important lesson. Climb into a vehicle as they have ordered. As you enter the vehicle, it rocks from side to side. Your captors climb in and uh, you swing the car. You travel for half an hour and finally stop outside of a large round building. Other similar cars have stopped there as well and numerous aliens are being led into the building. Wait, wasn't I supposed to die here? You are taken inside and put into a room with this, which is evidently a cell of some kind, along with four aliens. They seem resigned to the fact that they are about to be exterminated as part of a population control program. You cannot understand why they are so, un so unemotional about their impending death. One of the uniformed creatures calls for your party. You will have to act quickly. Will you try to fight your way out? Try to contact the ship or try to arrange to see someone in authority. I think this is a interesting way out. You make your request, but the alien merely shoves you forward. This is not possible, he replies. You are taken to the extermination chamber. I don't know. Uh, can I try? Well, I've already tried this. Uh, let's follow meekly. Ooh. So basically, this means fire now, I guess. Following your guard, you turn down another corridor, which leads to a large open room. Various armored guards seem to be directing civilians through a large opening doorway at one end of the door uh, from which a red dull glow is coming. You are directed to the end of the line. Ask your science officer for advice. Use your previous discovery for to escape. Obey the aliens and get a line. Oh, I can't even... Why can't I do this? Crap. Oh, the end. Okay. Hmm. I guess I the uh, video or the preview or whatever the thing Steam whatever looked more interesting than this. The thing is, I really just hate visual. No, well, I hate visual novels. They tend to be manga crap, and I hate the choose your own adventure. Although I'll. I'll contend that this one looks much better than the generic text-only things that are floating around, but still, this is... I mean, I can't imagine this being very interesting as a... as a... Uh, as a for a review. I mean, you know, uh, it looks like a fun storyline, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure people can have fun playing this game, no doubt about it. It's just not really my cup of tea, because it's... T 
too implicit, I guess, in, in, in terms of being a game. Um, but I'll say this, you know, this this does look like an actual game. Uh, you know, effort has been put into it. Not just text, not just uh, coming up with a storyline, but also the whole implementation of the game looks pretty pretty good. Um, again, compared to its, you know, its colleagues. Um, what kind of options do we have? Music, whatever, skip intro, restart book. Um, we have rules. There's a lot of rules. I guess it would have been nice if there were more options or more, like, interlinks. I don't know. History of fighting fantasy. Uh, the story of Starship Trap. Okay, the ground. Okay. Well, anyways, I am going to end it here. Um, even after after 15 minutes, simply because I don't think another playthrough is going to be very interesting to to watch, because either it's going to be more of, of the same me reading stuff, or it's going to be uh, me being silent and uh, randomly clicking through because I don't want to waste your time reading stuff that you know um, just bores you. So, um, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I... It's just not my cup of tea. I'll, I'll give it a three because I I think this is a nice... You know, effort has been put into the implementation. It's not just a... Uh, uh, okay, there are plenty of choose-your-own-adventure own kind of games that have been created using some kind of builder. And those are just, I don't know, I wouldn't say lame. They're just really, really, really not my cup of tea. They, they would just get a one for me. Uh, this one clearly has put some effort into the implementation, so that, that just gets me a three. Objectively, it's a fine game, I guess. You know, if you're into this genre, this is a fine game. Uh, that will be an a, uh, a five. Then, uh, graphic-wise, for the genre, this is good. It's an A. Um, Content-wise, I've seen the page number 263. I guess there's a lot of content. Uh, that's an A. Implementation-wise, it seems solid. It's not just a generic builder, another A. Um, so even though I really just don't like the genre, I think this is a good game. Um, just still wouldn't play it myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you did enjoy it regardless. Um, thank you for watching and bye-bye.